Let's go to Chris. Chris, what's up? You're on the Opie and Anthony program. How much? How y'all doing? Pretty good, buddy. Uh, I've got someone to nominate for the uh, golden ticket. Uh, you know Russ Martin? From Russ Dallas. Martin is on the fucko list. Oh, is he? Let me make that perfectly clear, just in case you didn't hear. Russ Martin is on the fucko list. What's wrong with Russ? The guy couldn't even say hi to us when we went down to Dallas. The guy's a douchebag. Oh, no shit. Screw him. Screw Russ Martin and his stupid show in Dallas. Fucko. He's on the fucko list, trust me. <laughs> he will be one of the many that has to sit there on, on commercial radio and suffer as that uh, it's, it's as it dies. Been a couple of years. What? It's probably been a couple of years since I listened to him since I well ever since I've had XM, but some of these used guys to listen to him all the time. Some of these guys you suggest immediately we just know they're on the fucko list, and Russ Martin is certainly one of them. <laughs> all right, yo. All right. Have a good one. Shows that have potential. B.J. Shea in Seattle. There's one. Our boy, uh, Brother Weeze, if we could get him out of a damn contract in Rochester, New mm. York. There you go. There's some potentials. Yep. Russ Martin, fucko list. Fucko. Speaking of shows we hate, uh, Russ Martin, I guess, uh, responded to us because we, we threw him on the fucko list. Oh, he did? This Russ Martin guy is a clown. Another one market sensation. Does great in Dallas. I'm not going to, you know, we'll give him props where props are due. Does great, but he's a one market sensation. Where, where is he? Dallas. He was on the same station we were syndicated to. Oh. And wouldn't know that. It's the only reason I know that is because when we got fired, I went down there and uh, when Jimmy was touring and uh -huh. uh, Jimmy would do some radio with Pugs and Kelly and this guy was scared to meet us, which was the weirdest thing I've Ooh. ever seen in my life. The weirdest fucking thing. Really? Yeah, he acts like he his shit don't stink. He he pretty much broadcasts from a dark studio, kind of like Lycus. Like Lycus, right? No a one's tough to, guy. No one's allowed to talk to him, and he wears his sunglasses indoors. Oh. And, and you know, in oh. Dallas, he's huge. I'm not gonna lie to you, he's huge. But as far as getting syndicated, he's a one market uh, sensation. The business is filled with these guys, mm -hmm. and they're all cocky in their little city. But when it comes to the rest of the country, no one even knows their names. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you try syndicating to a few major markets first before you start mouthing off? So we added him to the fucko list. Why don't you be successful in a few other uh, cities? Uh, in a few major markets. I love when people start talking about uh, the Opie and Anthony show and how we're on satellite radio. and uh, they, they, they alter history when they say things about how we were thrown off, couldn't stay on regular radio. The reason we're on satellite is because we were unsuccessful. Hey, we're a show that was proven in major markets around the country. Go ahead. Did you do that? He's a big guy down there in uh, Dallas, huh? Is that what he is? Yeah. A big guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One market. And Ass. And he sounds exactly like Howard. Exactly. Really? Exactly. That's what that is. Party bus and helicopter. Yeah. Know. Quite a nice neighbor. All right. Let me take this. What is it, Bill? Speaking of satellite, uh, Opie and Anthony had some very harsh words to your day, Russ. What did they say? They they put you on... Okay, first of all, uh, Russ Martin knows exactly what we said. Of course. That's why he took this call to set up his little rant that he's about to do. Yeah. That's how they work it in, on uh, radio. What did they say? What wow. did they say? This oh, believe is, me, he knows. Wow, this is a big surprise. What did they say? <laughs> he probably heard it live. Oh. All radio guys have XM. So here's Russ Martin. What did they say? Mm -hmm. your day, Russ. What did they say? They they put you on a list that, that began with the the word uh, the letter F and be ended with the letter O. And they also said screw him. And they said that when they visited Dallas, that you would not say hi to them. I never saw him. Nothing at all. Also, they said that... <laughs> I love those little fucking tattletales. <laughs> what a tattletale. <laughs> and they said, and then they said, and they said... <laughs> the little rat. whole family of fucking rats. By the way, we're hearing this for the first time, because I want to yeah. have a natural reaction. And if you don't believe me, I could get Steve and everyone in here. I have no idea what he's going to say. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, we made it a, a side thing that you know the guy wasn't even willing to say hi to us. It, it didn't wreck our day, trust me. It was just <laughs> one of those things that was like, it was pretty strange that he was kind of hiding from Jimmy and I when we were down there. Yeah, that was obvious. The I, whole staff was coming up and saying hi. 
especially to Jimmy because he was, uh, you know, doing the Pugs and Kelly show mm -hmm. and a bunch of other people, salespeople, blah, blah, blah. We were pretty successful for, um, for that station in Dallas when we were syndicated. And he went out of his way to make sure he didn't run into us. That's all I'm saying because mm -hmm. I'm sure he's going to say something stupid here. I never saw him. Nothing at all. Also, they said that uh, you were uh, destined to be to suffer stuck in terrestrial radio. Mm. Radio, excuse me. Terrestrial. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Nine satellite. Yeah. That's why they probably have eight or nine thousand subscribers, and I got. <laughs> that gag again. <laughs> I get it. Eight or shut the fuck up. <laughs> nine thousand. <000. laughs> I love the numbers they pull out of their assholes. <laughs> Eight or nine thousand right. listeners. Are we up to that? That's amazing, isn't it? I'm happy. Let me tell you something. Uh, this is the deal with our program. Like they have to, re they're going to renew our contract on a yearly basis. Basically, mm -hmm. that's how how bad we fucked up with this yeah. sex for Sam thing. We're up to uh, ten months. Uh huh. They have picked up. You know, next year, obviously, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. If we only had eight or 9,000 listeners, the amount of money they're gone. paying us, they would have got rid of us, trust me. Gone. We would have been so gone. So fired. Not just fired. We would have been so, so fired. So fired. Russ Dick Martin. Eight or 9,000 subscribers, and I got 500,000. <laughs> You're right. I'm effed. I'm on that FO list. He just admitted he only has 500,000 500, listeners? listeners? <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I honestly, wow. I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention. He really said he only has half a million what? listeners. What? Yeah. An idiot. Proving that he's just a one market he's... sensation. He was bragging about 500,000 listeners. Trust me. We have over 500,000 listeners yeah. on XM Satellite Radio already. Oh, absolutely say Way that. Way more than 500,000. This guy just proved our point. Yeah. On satellite. Yeah. That's why they probably have eight or 9,000 subscribers, and I got 500,000. <laughs> You're right. I'm effed. I'm on that FO list. <laughs> right after they, they put them on from 7 to midnight here, yeah. I got an email. Uh, I told you guys about that. Okay. This is the biggest bullshit. That I know what he's going to say on this thing. This mm -hmm. thing is amazing. Oh, I remember this. The general manager emails me one day, and and he goes, "Why are you sending evil or or uh, or um, negative emails to Russ Martin?" Mm -hmm. the, Russ Martin claimed this guy is so paranoid. I I swear to you, I think he set this up himself. I can't prove it. Yeah. But the general manager emailed me and said, "Why are you sending uh, Russ Martin emails like this?" And basically, it said something like, "Hey, dickhead, you're next. We're coming to get your your job." Like, we weren't satisfied with the slot we were in. And it was sent by you? Sent by me from my email account, supposedly, to Russ Martin's uh, email account. Okay. The so general manager calls me on it. I go, dude, sorry, didn't do it. I don't have time in my life to worry about stupid Russ why, Martin. Yeah, At that point, we were being that? syndicated to 20 uh, cities across America. I wasn't really concerned about, you know, Russ Martin in Dallas. Yeah. The general manager doesn't believe me. I got Ken Stevens involved and the entire company. I got Scott Colombo uh, involved. He was the uh, tech guy, the computer guy. And he for checked Infinity. out my computer and, and what, the IP or whatever? Yeah. And, and it was proven that it, this email that they're talking about, what he's about to talk about, I never sent. Yeah. I just don't do things like that. I, you know that, Andy. That isn't how we operate. You know our MO when we want to rip somebody apart. It's not sending a, st a stupid email. The general manager never believed me. Sending Ken Stevens had to get on the 20, phone with 20,000 emails from you pests. <laughs> that's how it's done. The general manager and the, and the program director, both, that's right, didn't mm -hmm. believe me. Nice. Nice guys down there. And we went and uh, we had a whole inv internal investigation. The whole company got, not the whole company, but a lot, of, uh, a lot of the tech guys in the company got involved. And they proved, without a doubt, that this email didn't come from, um, from New York. Mm-hmm. From 7 to midnight here, yeah. I got an email. I told you guys about this. Yeah, go ahead. It said, uh, uh, sender not specified. Oh, yes. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I opened it up, and it said, we're coming after your shift next. Next. So I opened it up, looked at the properties, and it was like Opie at OpieAnything.com. <laughs> nice job covering that up. I hate these fucking guys. We say it on a weekly basis. They're a bunch of fucking liars. Lying hacks. Lying hacks. He knows damn well, as he's saying this probably last week on our show, that it was proven that I did not send this email. It was proven. 
Yeah. When is this Between guy his on? tech guy and our tech guy, the whole deal. Because I'm like, no fucking way, dude. When is this guy on, by the way? Uh, Three to seven. Three to seven? Dallas. <laughs> hey, go to it, fellas. <laughs> Attack. Attack. Have fun with... Attack. Me. Attack. Have fun with Russ Martin, this douchebag. Properties. It was like Opie at OpieAnything.com. <laughs> And here's the left. I got to cover that up. I got to cover that up. Nice job covering that up. Small detail. Mm -hmm. How did that six for Sam thing work out for you? Uh, well, well, it worked out great for us, we, Russ. We yeah. got the boots, spent two years uh, getting paid, um, hanging out, and then we got a uh, job here at XM Satellite Radio where we can do whatever we want. How's it working for you? Mm -hmm. Worked out just fine. I spent two years playing golf, following my comedian buddies around uh, America. I was just wandering the earth. It was How'd great. that work? How'd that work out? Mm -hmm. How'd that sex for Sam thing work out for you? Yeah. You're out of work for a while. Now you're on satellite. Now, if satellite had been on for a while, and, was, yeah. and there are a lot of big-name talent there, then I'd say, you know what, you may be a step ahead of me. Yeah. But right now, you're floating on the load boat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if it had been around, because here's another coward. Here's another coward that doesn't have enough faith in his own talent to be a pioneer in some uh, industry. The guy, was he, he just said it. Uh, if it had been around a while, and it was full of hacks like myself, ah, then I'd dip right in. I love the the guys on regular radio that just talk about satellite like that. I love it because it's just going to bite you in the ass. People are fleeing regular radio on a daily basis. The second you get satellite, the second you get it, you do not go back to regular radio. And it's ending up in all the cars. And if you think people are going to sit through your fucking commercials and your babble for hours on end, it ain't going to happen. Look at HBO now. Look at the shows on HBO. They do great. They're entertaining, real life. Things you can't get on network. And network television, they're struggling. And they were the ones saying, well, cable, who's really watching that? You sound the same. You sound exactly the same as those idiots with no uh, foresight. That's really the only way that they got a chance to get exposure is to bag on people on terrestrial radio. Correct. Hopefully that you'll talk about it. Right. Otherwise... Nobody knows where they Nobody are. knows where they went. How they, how's anybody going to know where they went unless you have people on terrestrial radio talking about them? Discussing them. Yeah. So that's a dandy. Li and that, in fact, that's exactly why they come up with some kind of list. Sure. We'll put all these guys that are on the air that people hear. We'll put all of them on a list. Oh. I guess the guy listens to us. No, lot, you huh? really stink is what it is. I, why does it have to be a gimmick? Why can't you just fucking suck and we point it out? Why does it have to be a gimmick to uh, publicize our show? You stink. You're on the fucko list. That's why we talk about you. We could give a shit if you mentioned our show, our names, or anything. I, and I so mean that. I absolutely mean that. Because people are finding out we're on satellite radio. Yeah, believe me. We're doing just fine here. The latest is, uh, you know, a nice huge interview in uh, Penthouse Magazine. We have the assault on the media that we do. It gets our name out there. We're in the papers. We're, don't, we don't need the likes of you saying our name to get our, our uh, uh, names out there. We're doing just fine on our we're own. We're doing fine. Please don't mix this up. The reason you're on the fucko list is because you're a fucko. <laughs> you suck. You're phony. And we're pointing out the phony ass wipes in radio. And he sounds just like Jim Phillips, who sounds just oh, like Lex Oh, they Atari. got that voice. They Listen to him. He's all voice. smarmy and just, yeah, satellite. Yeah. Who sounds like Todd Schnitt, who sounds like... All their hashing Shannon fake Burke. radio voices. Enough. You're a bunch of phonies. The air that people hear. We'll put all of them on a list. They'll talk about us. Gavin here? He's coming in? Is there a mic out there? Yeah. Which one? All right. Well, well, Gavin this? just came in. Okay. This we have going? a surprise for him in the hallway. A lot of dead air. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is the best one we pulled on him, but it's close. I think so. <laughs> 
And it's certainly not bad for a terrestrial bit. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. That's where he was <laughs> Never, Never worked in satellite. <laughs> Uh, Holy crap! Never what a bore fest! An absolute bore fest! <clears throat> no honesty. A hack. A liar. Another radio guy that's just a flat-out liar. That's fun. Oh God, Russ Martin, you are on the fucko list, my friend. You are a real douchebag. Dan in Connecticut, what's up? Hi, Opie. You're gonna release the number. You need his number. Want to give him a phone call? <clears throat> um, yeah. the best? Uh, he's probably going to be another pussy that doesn't go with it, but uh, his phone number is 214-787-1053 for the Russ hey. Martin program. It's on uh, uh, KLLI-FM. That's 105.3 <laughs> FM. I love these. <laughs> the, same, the same station that has Pugs and Kelly, and uh, we like Pugs and Kelly a lot. They can't stand Russ Martin, by the way. Uh, Russ Martin. <laughs> oh, it's true. They openly say it on their show. This guy is such a douchebag. Yeah, one of those typical radio ass. He thinks his shit don't stink. The fact is, he's a one market one market sensation. That's great. Have fun with the pests today. We will take care of it. Russ we'll at RussMartin.com. He's on from three to seven. But that's like Dallas time. Uh, they're all fucked up uh, down there, aren't they? Uh, it's twelve to twelve to I, four, I guess. No, don't say that. You're not three hours everybody. behind us, mister. I think they're an hour behind us. Yeah. I don't know. Hour? You guys figure hour. it out. Three to seven, Dallas time. They'll coordinate it. Uh, 214-787-1053 for the new listeners who want to have fun. Uh, go to whackbag.com. That's where everyone gets together to have a little fun. You will take mm-hmm. care of it. All right. right. Guys. Thank you, Dan. Bye. Bye. Let's say hi to Jim in St. Louis. Jim, what's up? Hey. Morning, boys. Sweet tits. Hey. Morning. Uh... Sunday Post Dispatch. The first five pages on the Sunday Post is talking about XM kicking the shit out of terrestrial radio. On the front page, they've got a life size picture of the uh, XM to go MiFi. fi <clears throat> Of course, they couldn't put the little doggy one on there. They'd have to have an extra edition. But the, uh, <laughs> of course. But the, uh, uh, the the headline is what happened to the mighty Mox. KMOX, which is a 50,000-watt station, has had Cardinal Baseball for 52 years, and MLB on XM kicked the shit out of them in, what, nine months? They've lost almost all of their territory because of XM. And then it goes on to, on the bottom of it, it, it says there's a lot of competition over the air radio, and over the air, air radio is the big loser in here. They just go on for five pages explaining about how – uh, XM has got six million listeners, and that uh, that the uh, six million really hiding. They hide to wake up. Well, they hide uh, a couple more. Yeah, there you have it. All right, Jim, thank you so much. Right. Oh boy, there goes Jim and St. Louis. And you know the people that are lobbying to get XM or any type of satellite radio regulated by the FCC are the scumbags in commercial radio because they don't want the competition of yep. people saying whatever they want to say without being fucking slaves to advertisers. Anytime satellite wants to branch out and do anything, uh, regular radio comes in and tries to shut them down. They want the FCC to jump in there and regulate them, and it's all out of fear. They see it coming. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to acknowledge it, but they see it. It's the future. It's what's happening. Who isn't good? Why would you listen? And I'm not even talking about our show. I'm talking about any show. Why would you listen to one that is interrupted with commercials and can't speak their mind or say or speak in, in a, a way that people speak on a daily basis or a show like uh, like this where you can? Why would you listen to the other one? I love guys like, dude, I'll never pay for radio. Go ahead, jerk off good. Listen to the commercials yeah. and the nonsense and the unfunny, phony laughter. Go ahead, enjoy it. Same guy with the tinfoil on the rabbit ears on his television. No, they have cable now. But I'm like, what do you yeah. say? You never pay for TV? He's like, yeah, but the... Uh, exactly. Sopranos. Dug out Doug real fast. Four seconds, go. I learned that we already brought down Russ Martin's message board. Nice. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Program complete. Uh, Dug out. Yes, sir. Can you wait through the Yo, break? I, I'm sorry. I had you on speakerphone. I have to get dressed in the morning sometimes. Ooh. Can you wait through the break? I can wait through the break. All right. Doug out, Doug, uh, one of the uh, generals of the ONA Army, mm-hmm. reporting in. We'll talk to him next, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Doug out, Doug. We're back with the Opie and Anthony program. Hi. Doug out, Doug has been waiting through the break. 
What a gang. A member of uh, Whackbag.com. What's up, Doug? What's going on, guys? I wanted to just give a quick breakdown of what happened with Russ Martin yesterday. Oh, oh yeah, Russ Martin. Uh, one market sensation from Dallas, Texas. Wow. Another who, ass on the fucko list. Another ass who is not honest, who lies through his teeth. Uh, basically said that uh, we have eight to 9,000 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know and that he else. has, and he bragged that he has 500,000 listeners. I, I don't know how else to put this. <clears throat> I, I listened for uh, a good hour yesterday. and uh, By the way, when Howard talks about clones and stuff, Russ Martin is a perfect example. Yeah. They imitate uh, you know, Howard's voice to a T. Go ahead, Doug. A You're good, supposed to comment a, there, but go ahead. <laughs> a good hour I listened. No, I'm just, this guy, oh my God. I, I listened for an hour and had no idea what he was talking about. Awful. No fucking clue what he was talking about. He was talking about popping pills. He was doing this clever little thing where he was turning the mic off and then they would turn it back on and they were laughing. Because it, it, he's, you know, so extreme for FM radio, he's, He's got to mute himself and yeah. him and his crew of, I think he has 35 people in there. <laughs> it, it was just so bad. He didn't take many calls. I got, I got a call from Boston Strangler while I was uh, on the way home from work yesterday. He was talking. He actually was screening his own calls. He knew we were coming. Um, he, he asked if, if he would take on the pests. He said they wouldn't give us any free advertisement. So they didn't take many calls yesterday. But I, I know a couple of us did get through. But you know how excited we get for this. I fell asleep an hour and 20 minutes into that show. I was on my couch listening to it. It was that fucking horrible. <laughs> you it know was... you guys were a huge success, right? You shut down a show yesterday. Yeah, oh, definitely. We, we definitely took over the, uh, the phone lines again and crashed the message board before your show was over yesterday. But, oh, my God, this guy was fucking horrible. <laughs> this was God's honest truth. I wanted to hear Moira pop in and start giving comments. <laughs> she would have been interesting. Yeah. To this show. He's this another show guy. So he's bad. He's another guy that wants to be on uh, satellite radio, but he just doesn't have the talent to to make it to satellite radio. He's a one market sensation, and he'll continue doing well in Dallas. Congratulations, Russ so, Martin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was making pop tarts while I was listening yesterday, and I found myself Dude, more interested in the microwave humming. The reality is, you know, because we do try to be as honest as possible on this show. The guy uh, does very well in Dallas. I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and make believe that he stinks in Dallas. Uh, for some reason, they they're eating up his show in Dallas, but that's it. He's a one market sensation. I, I can't I can't see it for the life of me. It, it was just it, the show started. With, with all inside talk. He didn't even start off a show. He started talking inside talk about popping pills illegally. Right. Went into the news and then talked for 45 minutes about I have no idea what. I heard he wasn't even there yesterday. He was actually in the secret room looking at the <laughs> gadgets. <laughs> well, you guys had a great show yesterday, man. Uh, I don't... I, don't, I know you guys didn't have a lot of time yesterday with Bob Saget coming in and stuff, but the Afro show was just absolutely incredible. And Drew Boogie with that remix of the theme, I yes. mean, just, just goosebumps listening to that. That he was absolutely man. incredible. Yeah, that was very cool. Are you guys attacking Russ Martin again today? Uh, yeah, we're going to try. All right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah he little... was so brave talking about satellite <laughs> radio and how we had only eight to 9,000 subscribers or listeners, and he was mm. bragging about his 500,000. You know, if, if he's a true... Uh, Good radio host. Who couldn't he just go with the whole thing? No, he would not make even, something out of it. Of course not. He wouldn't even take it. He he had absolutely no interest in taking it because a couple of us like to try to sneak around. I know a few of us got through, but a couple of us like to drive head on and just say who we are and what we want to do. And he had no interest in doing it. He did that old gag where he was at a break and he was pretending to take calls because he knew we were coming, so he could you know tell us, "Ha ha, you weren't even on the air," and hang up on us and. Uh, yeah, nah, just he's just a fucking pussy and just no talent and just. You guys definitely got under his skin. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking if he doesn't acknowledge uh, the pest today, that we just take over the entire radio station. <laughs> we we start calling all the sales lines and uh, the secretaries, the business lines. Yeah, why not? Other shows, just Who's not Pugs way? and Kelly. Don't hassle them. They're great, man. Pugs and Kelly are friends. Oh, the whole the, yeah. Take on take on all of XM because of the what happened yesterday. 
<laughs> no, take up. Oh, yeah, no kidding. We have our own problems. I know that. All right, Doug. Guys, take it easy. How's the top secret mission going? The top secret mission, as a matter of fact, the two top secret missions, yep. uh, one of them is still under wraps. Ooh, okay. The first one was just released uh, this week. Okay. And we're drumming up people uh, and we're determining a location for that one. Okay, very good. So we're moving and we're actually looking more towards possibly doing it during a holiday parade for maximum exposure. Operation Mayhem? Operation Mayhem. <laughs> Doug out, Doug, with a top secret, a top secret mission. All right, Doug. Those of you that are in the know, go to the top secret website. <laughs> if yes. not, we will be filtering hints through the message boards. All right, thank you, Doug. All right, guys. I love the. Bye, uh, Doug. We don't even know the URLs for the top secret no. message boards. Coming to the war secret. room. Where is it? Yeah, there's secret rooms that we're not allowed in. Yeah, Again. we're not even allowed in our own secret rooms. Who knows? It's, it's blatant abuse of power, is what this is. Yeah. Because now there's not just like. Missions going on. There are now covert missions. Mm -hmm. There's secret things going on that uh, other people don't know about. It's just horrible. I know what the secret mission is. You don't have to fight anymore. Oh, you I don't. already found out. You, you know? Yeah. They're what? planning a big... I don't care. They're planning a surprise party for me. <laughs> They're not planning a surprise party for me. Oh, my though. God. It's What is it? I the 10th of August? Over. Jimmy. It's not your birthday. Keep you're doing what you're doing. Doug's probably in charge of getting the cake, and he's got the other guys getting the candles, and maybe the pony, and the little... Whoa, what a surprise! Boy, are you going to be disappointed. Why? <laughs> I want my birthday party. It's just about, what is it, a month now since your you're, birthday? You're going to run through a room, and there's just going to be this. <laughs> you're going to be oh, all guys and wanting. I got a package today for my birthday. My friend Dr. Steve sent me a nice birthday package. It's Thank not you. your birthday. Certainly is. Happy Thank you, Eric. Hawk supportive. The rest of you are birthday blockers. Boston Strangler. Hey, good morning, boys. Hey, Happy buddy. Birthday, Jimmy. Oh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm just calling in to give you guys a little update on our Russ Martin project. It appears that we have one radio station that looks like they're going to buy our advertising. Yeah, now the pests are buying um, commercials. Yeah, buying commercial time on radio stations. Because this, uh, this little uh, one market wonder in um, Dallas, Russ Martin, was talking shit about us. So he said, we were like, all right, bring it on. So uh, the ONA Army started attacking, but Russ Martin couldn't go with it because he doesn't have the talent to do that. So uh, so the listeners decide, well, we'll get to Russ Martin somehow. And now they have um, gotten themselves a commercial on a competing station in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Right, Boston? That is correct. Myself, Dugout Doug, one of the other generals, Chemistry, and Chucky from WackBag.com and OARMY.com have been uh, putting together the effort, and we are marching forward with our pat battle orders. <laughs> how, how is the commercial going to – is it going to be – um, references cleverly disguised in a fake commercial for a product? Is it just going to be blatant, you're an ass? Is it... um, well, we want to make sure that we don't, like, screw this up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a general commercial for XM202. We might throw in some clips from the show that has yet to be determined. Uh, basically, myself and Doug will be... Uh, reading, you know, a dialogue or whatever, and, and we'll see where it goes from there. But i got to give major props to Chemistry for putting together an awesome bed of music, and he knows what I'm talking about. They're but now making their own commercials good. for yeah. the Open Anthony show. What station is it going to run on in Dallas? Uh, I believe it's KBGE, The Edge 102.1. Oh, that's a solid mm -hmm. rock station down there. Or they yeah, used to the be. the alternative, you know, album-oriented rock station. All right. But anyway, you guys suck. Take care. All right, make sure you abuse uh, Russ Martin in the spot. That'll get some attention. That's great. They're um, buying commercial time. 